Hey guys, it's Quinn for the win, your self-love coach, your host of the win with women sessions and your co-host of the self-love exodus workshops. I do want to throw that out there. If you need support, I am doing donation based self-love sessions. So hit me up if you're interested or click the link in my bio. All right, you guys, today is day seven of sharing the segment of why self-love is so damn important. And one of the reasons why it is, is because it can boost up your mood and your energy. And I will share with you a story that I experienced this morning and how I changed my low vibes to high vibes. So how are you guys, how many of you guys are not feeling energized and you're not feeling that good with your mood? Well, I will tell you this morning, I woke up bursting into tears, not one time, not two times, but three times. I woke up, cried, went back to sleep, woke up again, cried, went back to sleep, woke up again, cried because I had dreams that pertain to my siblings, two of them, and one of them passed away. And then the other one was treating me in a way that triggered all of my pains from my past. So no wonder I had low vibes this morning all the way to the afternoon. I attempted to eat a little bit, that, and then I even attempted to stretch and do push-ups, and that didn't do so much. So what changed? So number one, I got out of my environment. So wherever it is that you're at, that you're feeling the low vibes, we need to get somewhere else that stimulates the mind to be more productive and get into that, get into that habit. And for me, it's being at this co-working space. And don't worry, you guys, it is safe. There's like nobody here, all right? And um, they're allowing only certain members, a very low certain amount of members to be here. So anyway, this is where I get all my stuff done. So once I got to my environment, now I'm like in the flow of like moving because I just had to move my body. This is where we got to really listen to our bodies. And my body was hungry, so it told me to eat. And I ate oatmeal and I allowed myself one cup of coffee and water. All right. So really, really listen to your body and see what it needs. So that's one thing. Feed yourself, fill yourself with some good food and some good liquids. And then I busted out my yoga mat. I got on that yoga mat and I started to stretch. And because I was stretching already, I was starting to feel better because I was releasing the tension. I really want to highlight stretching because that's what I've been really into lately. And plus, you guys, there's so many aches and pains in our bodies and we do not give it enough love. Our bodies carry us with, throughout the day. And how are we saying, hey, thank you. So this is part of the self-love journey, you guys, showing up to you with action. So stretching out my body, it not only took care of my body, but took care of my emotions, my mental health, and also my spiritual health, because I was feeling really connected to me, because that this is how I was communicating to myself. So you guys, I stretched, and then I ended up doing 10 freaking push-ups. So thank you, by the way, for the challenges, because that's what got me to do the 10 push-ups. <laughs> you know, the C10, do 10, tag 10. So as I was doing those push-ups, you guys, I started to sweat and that really really got out all of the negative feelings that I was feeling and already I was feeling better with my mood because I felt confident I felt stronger and I felt proud of myself for doing a physical activity that even had me sweat a little bit so let's review the steps again change your environment because it requires you to move your body because if you just sit there the mood and the low energy is just gonna get more and more and more and more worse. So changing your environment so you can move your body. Two, feed yourself. Three, start stretching. And four, get in a little sweat, do some push-ups. If it's not 10, do five, do something, but you will feel so proud that you did this, you guys. And <laughs> I had the energy and space to host a virtual meetup online for the win with women sessions that i just mentioned earlier so if you guys are feeling the low vibes know that you got to move your body feed your body and then stretch out your body and get in a little sweat so that's my day seven to you guys i'll see you guys tomorrow for day eight of the segment of why self-love is so damn important i'm here reach out to me we get to win especially in tough challenging weird times right now Bye, guys.